I believe in a New Jersey renewal which can help lead to an American renewal, both in every individual home in this state and in homes all around the world. And my prayer today is that you will join me in that renewal, as so many of you in this chamber and in this state have done with me before over the last five years. I am proud, incredibly proud, to be the governor of New Jersey. And I will never, ever stop fighting for our New Jersey renewal. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie addressing state leaders in Trenton just a short time ago. His fifth State of the State address reflecting on his accomplishments during his second term and laying out his priorities for the year ahead. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Kleffler in New York. All this, as so many are wondering, if Christie will make a run for the White House in 2016. He was a favorite to run just a year ago, but his popularity taking a bit of a hit with that bridge closing scandal. And the question being asked, can Chris Christie bounce back enough to make him a formidable candidate? ABC Shoshana Walsh is at the State of the State address joining us now live from Trenton. And Shush, how did the, how did, uh, the governor do today? How did, the, how did uh, the governor do today? Well, as every state of the state and every state, they he got a lot of applause. But really, it's going to be the reaction after he walks out of these doors to real New Jerseyans to see what their reaction is. But people inside the chamber, of course, it's Republicans on one side, Democrats on the other. They were quite positive. All right, so the big issue that I think a lot of people know outside of the state of New Jersey was the Bridgegate scandal that happened last year. Did he address that, make any kind of point of reference to it? Make any kind of point of reference to it? He didn't address it directly, but almost right at the top, he did mention what a political year, a partisan political year he had had with a lot of people inside the chamber. Now, that's a direct reference to some of the Democrats who really have piled on him and this year, but because of that bridge closing scandal, and not just the bridge closing scandal, but a lot of serious fiscal issues that have happened over the year in New Jersey that he has to answer for in the state, but he's also going to have to answer for on that 2016 campaign trail if he decides to join it. If he decides, and that's the that's the operative word right there. You know, Governor Christie is probably one of the higher profile governors throughout the country there, and he's got a pretty good relationship with President Obama. That image, of course, right after Superstorm Sandy, and, and then, of course, right before the 2012 election, seemed to infuriate a lot within his own party with Republicans there. He seemed, though, that he uh, had liked to blast, though, the Obama administration. In fact, this is some of that. We are a nation beset by anxiety, and it's understandable. Economic growth is low by post-war recovery standards. America's leadership in the world is called into question because of a pattern of indecision and inconsistency. And during this time of uncertainty, it seems our leaders in Washington would rather stoke division for their own political gain. And this culture of divisiveness and distrust has seeped into our communities, into our neighborhoods. And it is bipartisan in its nature. As I traveled the country over the last year, you may have heard about that, <laughs> traveled a little bit around the country in the last year, this anxiety was the most palpable emotion that I saw and felt. More than anger, more than fear, anxiety. I saw it on the streets of Chicago and felt it in the suburbs of Maryland. I heard it from farmers in Kansas and from teachers in Colorado. I felt it from veterans in Maine and from workers in Arkansas. So shush, it seems as if this might be someone that set out on trying to fix some problems, but perhaps from the chair of the Oval Office and not necessarily from the chair in Trenton. Absolutely, Dan. This the part that you just played, you wouldn't really know it's from a New Jersey state of this state. It was really a national message. As you said earlier, he hit the president on his leadership, calling him inconsistent, ind indecisive. And these are really messages and topics that you are going to hear on the national campaign trail. It's likely we're going to hear it from Christie, but it will be his other rivals, his other GOP opponents, who will also have very similar messages. And we're going to see that very soon. Well, speaking of some of his rivals, Mitt Romney getting a lot of momentum today, in fact. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest made a comment, in fact, when he was asked by our Jonathan Carl. Here's what he had to say. 
Just one last quick one. Uh, Mitt Romney is somebody the president uh, is familiar with. Mm -hmm. uh, ran against him. Yeah, a bunch. Uh, just a couple yeah, years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they did. Um, so he's uh, apparently telling people that he's uh, leaning strongly in favor of running for president yeah. again. I'm just wondering, yeah. is uniquely, uh, the president's uniquely uh, positioned to uh, comment on that as the advice? Hmm, sure. uh, I, I have uh, seen those reports that uh, the Governor Romney is considering getting the band back together again. Uh, the, uh, at, at this point, you know, I do, I, I anticipate that over the course of the next two years that we'll have a lot of opportunity to discuss uh, the positions and actions of uh, presidential candidates in both parties. Um, so here's but an opportunity to discuss yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm not, but I, what I was going to say is I'm not going to start today. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but we'll have that opportunity yeah. Yeah, moving forward. So, Shush, is the Christie camp talking about this, about Mitt Romney making a possible run? Absolutely not. There has been no message. You, obviously, you didn't hear that today. You didn't really hear any kind of message to his possible rivals. It was really going after the administration and laying out what you could see in his uh, a future run may be. But just as Josh Ernest was asked today, really everyone is talking about it. The, the Mitt Romney entrance or his possible even flirting with this is really the surprise of the cycle. Now, of course, presidential campaigns are long, but this one is really a shocker. I have covered Mitt Romney since his first presidential campaign in 2007. I would have been the last person to say that this could possibly happen, but it looks to be real, Dan. Well, okay, well, surprisingly or not, there were some actual state issues that were addressed in the state of the state today. In fact, Governor Christie talking about his plan of how his state would deal with drug addiction. What did he say? An issue that he talks about quite frequently here in New Jersey, and it's an issue that he would again, I think, really tout on the campaign trail as one of his successes. Now, what he's talking about is a state law that if you're a first time drug offender and you are caught, you won't go to prison. Instead, you will have to go to treatment. Mandatory treatment is something he's very proud of. He talks about often. And really, I could see in a presidential platform as something that you maybe not you don't usually see from a Republican candidate. And that's why he really says that he, if he runs, he would be a different type of candidate. You hear that all the time. All right, Shush, before we let you go, I want to ask you about this then, because I know that uh, Governor Christie can sometimes offer a little personality, a little bit of lightheartedness in some of his addresses there. Did he bring up anything about that now famous or perhaps infamous bear hug at the uh, Cowboys football game? Cowboys football game. Unfortunately not. No mention of the hug, no mention of the Cowboys, no mention of that orange sweater. The only joke is that in the middle of the speech, he talked about next year's state of the state. Of course, we would be in the heat of the presidential campaign then. He said, I will be here next year and repeated it for emphasis. It got a lot of laughs in the chamber. <laughs> Indeed it does. All right, Shoshana Walsh in Trenton, New Jersey. Shush, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Of course, you can keep up to date with the story in real time by downloading the ABC News app and starring the story for exclusive updates on the go. For now, I'm Dan Kleffler in New York.